Hello guys, what is going on? It's I Paris and we are back with the script tutorial series. Now I know you've been wanting this series coming back for a long time and I'm gonna actually start doing it again. So today is gonna be the day where we do so. Now in today's video we've done the basics even though it could be improved and I did say in the other video that I did go back to it but we're gonna skip it we're gonna move on to something else and in today's video we are going to be doing scoreboards now I know some people wanted that so I guess I'm just gonna show you how to make a simple scoreboard and how you can do it with different variables and options so let's get into the code bang so there we go we have got our script tutorial file open and as you can see this is just our ignored code because of the hashtag but yeah we want to start with the code for the scoreboard now for me when i do my scoreboards this is how i do it uh, i know there's different types or different ways you can do the scoreboards but this is the one that i like the most obviously you don't have to do it this way it's just my preference so yeah let's get into it so firstly i'm going to do every two seconds now that means on every two seconds the scoreboard is going to refresh so i'm going to do a new line and i'm going to press tab once which is just equal to four spaces so i'm going to do loop all players and then a semicolon again and then it puts us there and we need to do tab again so looping all the players is getting all the players on the server looping their scoreboard every two seconds when we get round to it, so we need to do wipe loop players scoreboard. Now that is just clearing the players scoreboard, and then once we get round to the different things, it will change it to the things, obviously. So firstly, we're gonna make an option just so you can see how it's done. If we just do scoreboard name and then just do I don't know let's do and an F and an L I Paris test I Paris scoreboard oh we actually did this wrong this is supposed to be a sidebar there we go now in the set name for the name of the sidebar that's the top line so you want to do set name of sidebar of loop player there we go two and this is where you put the name of it i'm gonna do this uh, scoreboard name now that's how you do an option an option just easier way of not writing it out so you can do it like multiple times so in like a message we can use at scoreboard name and it just means we'd have to type it out but if we do the next so on scoreboards I think it's 16 16 lines you can do I think we're not going to do all 16 lines obviously we're going to do a couple so on the first one we want to do set score so it's set score instead of set name we're going to do one two and then this is what we're going to do and an M one and an three and an M bang and an F and an M and an is it free bang and then and an B and an M bang and then you don't forget to do in sidebar of loop player to five let's do it five now if we control and S or you can just do file save we're going to do control and s because it's easy shortcut and let's go back to our in game and we type script reload all oh we got this name wrong but there as you can see in the scoreboard it did come up but we just got the name wrong somehow let's fix that real quick right so guys we fixed up the options we're just going to show you what i did so as you can see on the first time i didn't add the s onto options which was my mistake and we also changed that so we're going to just get rid of it and we changed it to loop player the name and that's because on the scoreboard it's going to be 
the name of the player so another player could join called I don't know Ben and his na the the name on the sidebar will be his in-game name which I thought was quite cool so yeah I also changed the set score just to make it a little bit nicer and that's m like mainly how you actually do a scoreboard you just gotta make sure on the end of the score you got that at the end and the number at the end is like the different rows so we can change this to 10 we can set score let's leave another one blank so the only thing as well if you're doing like a blank line you've got to change the letter every time so like that obviously you add the end stuff as well you can't have two and an A's because it will just make one line so if you do and an A and a B that'll make two lines so I usually just go and and Q because I usually just do letters that you can't do, coloured numbers that you can't do. So in sidebar of loop player to five, even though it'll just make it underneath, you'll see loop player to three. Even though it'll be underneath each other, but it were it would just say the different numbers kind of. Right, so if we just reload that, and I'll just show you this. So don't forget to script reload all once you've saved it. Bang as oh, I don't know what happened there, but as you can see, the different score numbers it went from ten to five to three, and that's pretty much how you do it. Like different lines and stuff. Let's go back into our code. A bit confused why it did that. And an A. You might need to just do and an A and an B, and then try it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's how you get the blank lines, as you can see, it's pretty snazzy. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else to touch upon on the on a scoreboard. That's mainly it. If you wanted to do a variable in a scoreboard, you would have obviously whatever you wanted in the line, but you have to make sure that you do this. And then obviously, let's do balance. We actually, for... For the balance you don't need these, we'll show you what it's like with a nut. So say if you create a variable for a player, which we are going to touch upon in a later video, you would have to do, I don't know, let's do player bands dot player dot loop player actually. That's how you do your variable if you've created one in a scoreboard. Obviously, you have to change because on, on, on a normal variable it would just be player, but in a scoreboard because you're looping everyone, it would have to be loop player. But if we're just going to do balance of the balance of the player, you, all you have to do is balance of loop player, and we're going to make it and in an, and in an B and in L. So aqua and bold. So let's go back into in game. Let's just set the time time set zero and then do script reload all oh. right so that's why that didn't work because I don't have the correct plugin for the money but yeah, that's how you would do like the balance. You can obviously, I obviously showed you how to do a variable. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty much it, guys. If you have enjoyed, then please make sure to leave a like as your support is helpful towards me. And if you want to subscribe, please make sure to do so. Because then, obviously I get more subscribers and then more people watch my videos and can learn script. In the next video, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do in the next video. If you want to leave a comment it's probably going to go out two videos after the next one so if we have a look this video is going out on a friday so the next one's going to go out on a thursday so that's just under a week to let me know what you want in episode three so yeah i hope this tutorial helped you and i'll see you in the next one peace